Okay, here we have a uh, 2007 Dodge Ram uh, 1500 with a 5.7 liter engine. What we're going to be doing today is changing the oil and filter uh, on this vehicle. So uh, obviously I have the, the vehicle up on the lift and I'm just going to show you where it's, uh, where it's actually located. Um, it's around on the uh, easiest way to see it is going to be to uh, just look underneath here. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out the drain plug, which is right here. We're going to drain all the oil out of it. Once the oil stops draining, then we're going to go around to the front and we're going to change the filter. So uh, I'm going to grab some tools and I'm going to get started. First thing you want to remember is that when you're taking off the oil drain plug, uh, to remove it is counterclockwise, to install it is clockwise. So you just break the, uh, the nut loose. It's a 13 millimeter socket, just so you know. Uh, always use a ratchet or a box end of a wrench. Never use an open end part of a wrench. Uh, so then you just take the oil drain plug out. Obviously you want to have a bucket to drain the oil into. And you remove the, the drain plug. And then we'll let it all drain thoroughly out. Once it finishes draining, then we'll reinstall the drain plug. So. Uh, let me uh, let this drain out a little bit, and uh, then we'll come right back. Okay, once the oil has finished draining out, you're going to reinstall the oil drain plug, and um, you're going to screw it in by hand. You don't want to tighten it in with any ratchet until after you have it caught all the way in. And we're just going to uh, snug it up. You don't want to go too tight because you don't want to strip out the oil pan, so you just want to give it a little bit of a like snug, and then a little bit more, wipe off the excess oil that you have up in the, uh, the drain plug area. And now we're going to go to the front of the vehicle and we're going to drain the, the oil filter. So uh, let me move uh, around to the front of the truck and I'll uh, show you how that goes. It's right up underneath here. You'll see it right at the top up here is that black filter right there. So. Uh, let me get on it with a, uh, a wrench, and we're going to remove it, and we're going to let that drain out uh, into the uh, into the bucket as well. They make all different kinds of wrenches to take the oil filter out. The one I'm using is a band wrench. It goes around the filter, and you just uh, turn it counterclockwise to remove it. I'm going to show you how that goes. Once you have it loose, make sure you position your bucket underneath the bottom because it is going to leak quite a bit of oil. And we'll let that drain out a little bit before we try to remove it. Okay, and once it finishes draining out, you can remove it from the from the truck. Sorry if the lights blocking you. Thing that's very important whenever you change the oil is you always have to make sure that the o-ring came off of the housing up underneath the bottom right there and I'll show you by, what I mean by o-ring. The o-ring is actually on the filter right here it's this piece right here you have to make sure that that comes off and is not stuck up there. All right then what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bead of oil on the filter and then we're going to screw it back on. Alright, then we screw it back on, as tight as you can make it by hand. You don't need to tighten this with the wrench, just get it on as tight as you can by hand. Ok, 
Okay, that's it. All right, so the filter's tight, drain plug is tight. Wipe off any excess oil that you have up on the top. And then we're gonna uh, lower the truck down and we're gonna put the oil in. Okay, now that we got the, uh, the truck down on the ground, we're, uh, we're gonna uh, put the oil into the engine itself. And obviously the, uh, the oil cap is pretty, mo pretty well marked underneath the hood here. This is the cap right here. And as you can see on the top of the cap, it tells you what kind of oil goes in there. So let me take that cap off and I'll show you, uh, you know, what, it, uh, what kind of oil is supposed to go in there. Okay, the cap itself, it tells you right on the cap what weight of oil goes in there. In this particular case, it's 5W20. Uh, now, I did look it up on the computer, and I know this, car, this truck takes approximately 7 quarts of oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, the, uh, the recommended oil, and um, then we're going to start it up, we're going to check it. So uh, let's get some oil in it, and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, now that we have our uh, seven quarts of oil in there, we're going to uh, obviously remove the, uh, the funnel, put the cap back on it, and we're going to start it up, make sure we have no leaks at all, and uh, then we'll check the uh, level. Before you start it, always make sure your cap is on, of course. Start it up and let it run for just a minute. Once you've let it run, you're going to check underneath, obviously, to make sure that there's no leaks. And then we're going to check the oil level to make sure it's up to the, uh, to the full mark, which is on the stick itself, right here. It'll tell you a minimum and a maximum. We're going to make sure it's right up to almost, almost to the maximum. All right, we're right up to the, uh, to the full mark. So, uh, we're perfect. All right, so uh, again, just make sure there's no oil leaks underneath the bottom of the truck. And uh, that's it, you're all set. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.